Firstly, I'm uh, uh, honoured and privileged uh, to have this opportunity uh, to be the head coach of Melbourne Victory. So I'm very, uh, very pleased uh, to be here, uh, my second day, and, and so far uh, I've been impressed uh, with what I've seen. All, all, the, all the staff are, are good people, uh, very ambitious, uh, which you'd expect at Melbourne Victory. So I'm not too surprised to see that. And, uh, everyone wants to play their part in uh, getting Melbourne Victory back to the top. What was it that attracted you to join Melbourne Victory as head coach? Uh, my discussions were with, uh, with the chairman. Um, and, you know, he really, uh, I could hear the passion and, uh, uh, and the ambition that he has, uh, firstly as a person, as a chairman of the football club, uh, and the vision he has for Melbourne Victory. And... Um, I've always, and I've said this before, I've always admired Melbourne Victory from afar as an opposing coach. Um, I've admired the way they conduct themselves uh, with the respect and humility that they have. You know, I was delighted when Anthony uh, spoke to me about this opportunity. Uh, and we both share the, uh, the same vision. You know, we want Melbourne Victory challenging for honours. Uh, we want to get Amy Park full uh, with the navy blue shirts. Um, and get everyone behind the club. Uh, we know there's a lot of work to do, uh, but from what I've seen the last few days, um, you know, there are a lot of good people here at this football club uh, and they all have the right intentions, the right ambitions. Uh, everyone wants to work hard um, uh, and with that, uh, I feel that we can achieve the success that, that we all want. You mentioned you've only been here for two days, but um, what are your immediate areas of focus? Well, the first immediate part is really just to, to settle in into the club. Uh, we don't start training officially for a couple of weeks, so uh, it gives us time to um, see how the club uh, is, is functioning, uh, see the areas that uh, we can improve, uh, not just on the field but off the field, uh, to make sure that uh, we conduct ourselves uh, in the right manner, uh, that we can create the right culture, the right environment, uh, that can help us uh, when we get back on the, on the training park and, and that we can all share the same vision and, and goals uh, as a club. I think uh, if we just focus on the team, uh, we can fall short. So I think we need to really um, challenge everyone at the club uh, to raise the standards uh, and all have an expectation of each other uh, and enjoy the journey along the way. Uh, so we, we want to work hard, but we want to enjoy it. Um, and together with the, with the playing group, uh, with the staff, with uh, the admin, the owners um, and the fans together, we can uh, together uh, get, on, get on track and uh, get to where we really want to be. you started to build the team around you now. What can you tell us about the new assistant coaches that will join you? Yeah, my, my association with Luciano Trani, is, uh, I've obviously known him from... Uh, being in the A-League, I had an opportunity to work with him at Perth Glory. Uh, got to know him as a person. Um, very ambitious man. Uh, always striving to, to add value to an organisation. Um, and, and a very good, very good football coach. So uh, I'm delighted that he's joined us. And, uh, and Fabrizio Camarata is someone I haven't worked with. Uh, but I've got to know him uh, recently quite well, um, had a fantastic playing career uh, in Italy, uh, he's very ambitious, has had some coaching roles as a head coach uh, and when we spoke on the phone I felt um, you know, our vision was aligned in what we want to achieve, in how we want to play uh, and I, I believe he'll uh, really add a lot of value to the club. Um, very driven, hard worker, um, he sees this as a as an honour uh, to work at Melbourne Victory. Uh, he's done his homework on the club uh, and I think that tells you a lot about the A-League and about Melbourne Victory as an organisation that, you know, uh, someone with his playing career, his credentials, um, the experience he's had as a coach, uh, that he sees this as a real step up coming to Melbourne Victory. So I'm delighted that um, he has said yes to join us and. I believe he could be on his way now. He could be on a flight right now as we speak. Uh, and once he can, uh, concludes his quarantine, uh, he'll be ready for uh, day one of pre-season. You mentioned Perth Glory there as well. Of course, we'll play uh, Perth Glory 
in your FA Cup playoff in a few weeks' time. What is the focus between now and then in terms of getting the squad ready? Um, yeah, we, we, we have some work to do. We have to uh, see the level that the players are at when they come in. Um, we have to make an um, immediate impression on, on the group in how we want to play and uh, what we want to do moving forward. Um, and the next couple of weeks will really be about um, getting the players to understand uh, what we want to achieve as a group. Um, it'll, it'll be small steps uh, in terms of the training, um, make everyone aware, make everyone enjoy their training, uh, make everyone aware that um, we want to win, uh, we want to be a club that's uh, taking every game seriously, every training session seriously, and that there is a purpose behind everything that we do. Uh, and, I, and I feel we'll go to Perth um, prepared as, as well as we can be, it, albeit a, a short period of time, uh, and we'll go and give ourselves a, a good ca account of ourselves in Perth. And obviously there's a few spaces in the squad as well. What is it you're looking for in players when you're recruiting? Uh, I think you search for um, a bit of a package, really. Um, yeah, the, the talent is one, of course. You're looking for talented players, but... Um, you know, do they have the, the ambition and drive um, to excel, to, to want to be better? Um, you know, I'm a big believer in that every player uh, needs to improve. It's, it's up to us as a coaching staff to improve every individual on and off the field that works under us, um, regardless of age and uh, regardless of experience as a footballer. So we, we're searching for for players uh, on the field that want to do that, that want to improve, that um, want to play at the top, that, that dream big. I want every player to dream big, uh, whether that's uh, getting into the first 11 of Melbourne Victory or whether that's playing for, uh, playing for their country, playing for the Socceroos or young Socceroos, or whether that's ambition to one day go overseas and test themselves in Asia or Europe. Um, you know, I encourage that. Uh, I encourage that from the staff. I want them to want to be a head coach one day. Um, and if we have that uh, like-minded approach, um, I think that can help us grow and uh, move forward as a club and as a team. And, and that's what we're searching for individually. You know, we're looking for also maybe an age bracket, if possible, that the players that come in can, can be with the club and help us grow over the next three years. Uh, and that, that they're in at an age that um, that can only get better and, uh, and we can hopefully help them individually and collectively um, we can help each other to, to achieve uh, what we aim to do.